My name is Betty Anderson. I volunteer at the Hannibal Free Clinic and I've volunteered since it opened, which is over 12 years ago. And I'm Sharon Webster. I am the manager from the Hannibal Free Clinic. I have been here since the clinic opened. I am an employee of Hannibal Regional Hospital and they pay me to be the manager. For 31 years I worked at the Ross County Health Department and oftentimes people came in because they could not have access to care. They couldn't afford the physician. And the other thing was they couldn't afford medications. So when I retired, my goal was to work on something that could help these people have access to medical care and access to medical, to the medicine. Now we formed a, a founding board three or four years before the clinic opened in 2007. And Dr. Draper from the Hannibal Regional Hospital was our first physician that provided care in May of 2007. The hospital asked me if I, when I was working in um, home health care, if I would be the manager for the free clinic for one to two years until they were able to raise money and hire someone. And that was in um, December of 20. 06 to January of 2007. We have seen over 2,000 individuals and over 20,000 visits that have been medical providers, dental providers, chiropractic, and our patient-centered medical home, um, health coaching, and pharmacy visits. Betty and her group of volunteers, they work to get the medications. We've had almost 18 million dollars that we've had donated from the various pharmacies, pharmaceutical companies. We work with between 20, 30, 40 pharma, different pharmaceutical companies. We would not have near the robust patient assistance program. Betty has, you know, she started out being a volunteer nurse and doing a variety of things, but now she's pretty much focused on the medication assistance. There's um, all of the different companies that they work with. Each one of them has their own set of paperwork, their own set of rules, their own everything. And if Betty's not here, I can muddle through and order medications when the doctor's here, you know, get the, get the initial paperwork done. But we need, you know, there's the follow-up and making sure that we have the financial paperwork to send in and when do they need to be renewed and when do they need to be reordered and all of those things that I don't understand. Betty can tell you if the doctor changes a dose, okay, on that one we just need to call in and tell them the dose changed. No, this one we need to send in new paperwork. This one we have to send a whole application. And she has all of that stuff in her brain that I cannot keep track of. I like to help people and since I retired I really like, I miss being out and meeting people and the people here are so nice and the volunteers are all wonderful and the patients are so appreciative of the care and the medicine that we can get them. So I just enjoy serving and helping people. Well Sharon is a, a, a marvelous director or manager or clinical coordinator, whatever you want to call her, it would be hard for anyone to uh, fill her shoes. I'll talk to patients. I will um, relay those patient needs to the doctors, um, answer phone calls, do reports for the board of directors, help with fundraising. It just depends on what's going on as to what hat I have on that day. One of the greatest things she does is she's a great advocate for the patient. She works very hard to find the resources and the referrals that any patient needs. When they come to us, originally we try to make sure that if they have an urgent need that we get that taken care of either by using one of the local uh, physicians who will see a few people in their office or one of the urgent cares to take care of that need. Um, Hannibal Regional Hospital works with us to get basic lab work and testing. Sometimes we have to do um, the applications with the hospital or with the university or with Blessing to see about getting them more advanced testing or advanced care if we can't handle it here. We're basically like your general physician's office. My husband was a diabetic and the diabetic medicine 
had skyrocketed in price. Um, and if you don't have insurance, even with a very, very good income, you would, it would be impossible to afford your medication for diabetes care. So I would encourage any diabetic who doesn't have health insurance, who has no Medicaid, no Medicare, and can't afford to see the doctor to come to the free clinic because we can help them get on the path to a healthier lifestyle. People are here, you know, partly it's their circumstances, partly it's just the way life has happened. Um, you know, we have a lot of people who work and they really are trying to do their best, but they're working in part-time jobs or jobs that don't offer insurance, or if they do offer insurance, it's so expensive to them. And it's just to make, you know, to help people feel better. Um, excuse me, Irv Harder was one of our, was our first volunteer dentist. And he said never in his, all of his years of being a dentist had he ever pulled four teeth out of one person's mouth all at the same time and had them get up and give them a hug. You know, it's just, it's a rewarding to see people enjoy, enjoy going to the doctor. You know, that's, you know, we all go, we're going to the doctor today, oh yay. These people enjoy it because they know that we're helping them.